The minority in parliament walked out of the chamber during the swearing-in of the partner of their late colleague, now-turned-colleague, Lydia Sayam Al-Hassan. They did not just walk out, they did with a statement that drew widespread condemnation. The statement, Bloody Widow, was received as distasteful and insensitive by many. And the graviousness of this statement completely overshadowed earlier condemnations about the violence that marked the by-elections at the Yawasu West Wogan constituency. For starters, it seemed like a banter between the female MPs. I strongly believe that wherever the minority leader is, he will be very disappointed in the yes. minority caucus. Yes. On this old, Mr. Yes. Speaker, yes. I say they ought to apologize yes. to the honorable member, honorable Lydia Seria Malhassan. Yes. All yes. women in Ghana, yes. all widows in Ghana, they shouldn't go back ever and yes. ask for the women's votes, for the widows' votes. They shall always be in the records. It will always be in their memories. The people who were attacked. Yes. The people who were attacked yes. are people who contribute. They pay taxes. Sure. And it is their money that was used to buy arms and ammunition for the security agencies who use their taxpayers' money to attack them. Yes. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the people who are injured, yes. the people who are injured, yes. there were women yes. Yes. involved in the attack. This negative signal tells us that this house, we need to go back to school to learn more about violence against women. This house passed a law on violence, this case, sexual and domestic violence against women. And in violence against women, abusing a woman is violence against her. You are intimidating her. You are not allowing the woman to express herself in parliament. You are not. Like Tensions were high, but the definition of bloody widow by the minority spokesperson on gender and children, Ladi Ayamba, diffused the tensions with laughter. When you go to Google and under English, tells you that a woman whose husband has died and who has not married again, fishing, football, golf widow, informal, humorous, a woman whose partner is often not at home because he or she is fishing or playing football. But the push for an apology from the leadership of the minority over the insensitive message on the placard will lead to a dead end. The issue of using placards in this chamber are things that I have condemned over and over again and many of us in leadership have condemned many many times it happened yesterday it was wrong it happened a year ago it was wrong whenever it did happen mr speaker it cannot be right i think that it is proper that i ask that the leadership of the minority on behalf of the minority to apologize to the lady, Honorable Alas and Sairam, on, on behalf, and I so direct. Mr. Speaker, it will be difficult for the leadership of the minority to apologize on behalf of the minority. Honorable Member for Tamale North, can you leave the house? Please, my challenge, show that you leave the house. I wasn't the only one heckling, so I don't know why I had to be targeted to be asked to walk out. I don't know. It's only the speaker who can explain that. All I am very sure about is that maybe what I said when he threatened to refer those who were holding the placards to the Privileges Committee is a truism he can't take. Because what I said was that he should go ahead and refer them to the Privileges Committee and they will go and meet Kennedy Ajapong there. 
and whatever they are doing for Kennedy Ajapong, protecting and defending him, they will also have people who will stand up for them. And maybe he couldn't stand up to Because I know that on that committee that he is chairman of, he himself has not been very happy with the way his colleagues from the MPP have conducted themselves as far as the need to punish Kennedy Ajapong for those unfortunate ways, you know, is concerned. He has, he has not been happy. Proceedings continued in Parliament today with neither sides of the House pledging to end the violence that comes with by-elections. Rather, it was pointing of accusing fingers at each other. Reporting for City News, I'm Caleb Kuda.